What up, everybody? Big D coming to you today. Uh, no mail day, but it kind of is. Uh, what I got here is uh, some slabs that I sent into Arena Club to get graded. Now, these are cards that have already been graded uh, from uh, uh, PSA that I felt I got undergraded on. Uh, so three were undergraded cards, and one was what I thought it should get. And I wanted to compare to see what they thought. So uh, that's what I did. I took advantage of one of their discounts. I only sent in four cards. So I said, let's see where they're at. If if I get what I think I should have gotten on the undergraded cards, I think I'm going to start moving my... Uh, moving my uh, uh, grading over to Arena Club. Uh, the slabs were there. It's nice. So if you want to grade your cards and have them sent back to you, it's $15 uh, a card. Doesn't matter what kind of card, $15 a card. And if you want to keep them in the showroom, and you can also buy, sell, and trade from that showroom, uh, it's $10. If you want to keep them in the showroom and then get the slab sent to you at any time, uh, it's $2 a slab to get sent to you. So I think it's a pretty good, affordable price. They use AI technology to... Uh, uh, with human technology to get to figure to get your grade, so they're looking at it. The computer goes through, it scans everything, it notices some things, and then the human eye goes through and verifies that 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 what they saw on the 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 computer saw is valid, and so you get a more accurate grade, which I think is great. Uh, it has subgrades on it too, so you can see where you sit on the subgrades. So. Um, I got this here. I've not seen any of these slabs. I just kind of took everything out and moved. So um, I'm going to turn these around this way. And I'm going to cover the grade, which is right there. Okay, so this is Trevor's story, uh, this one here. So this got a 7 from PSA. And I don't know why it got a 7. This thing looks really good. The corners look sharp. I thought th this was a pr could be pretty much a gem card. But they gave me a 7 on this and I hit the tripod. I apologize. Okay, so what did P what did Arena Club say this card was? Boom, a 10. 2022 top silver pack 1987 uh on there as you see i thought that these this was a flawless card and then if you turn it around to the back there you go gives you your great the corners they say nine five so i must have one corner that's a little soft on there that i can't see on that edges 9.5 surface centering 10 10 i you know i thought this card could have gemmed up on PSA and it didn't you know even though this is a PC card for me um you know I like to get my PC card slabbed so you know I cracked the case on the ones that I thought were undergraded so a 10 yeah that's that's where I thought that this card should land it and it got what I thought all right <laughs> pretty cool let me cover this okay the Charlie Blackman uh, the gold out of 10 on the Spectra. This was another one. I got undergraded. This, they gave me a 7 on this one as well. And I didn't understand. I thought, dude, these cor it, as a thick card, you know... Dude, these quarter these corners are are bound to get dinged up and sagged. But I'm like, this card looks sharp. It looks good. 10. Yeah. There you go. Panini Chronicle Spectre Gold Pulsar 10 out, and it gives you a number 10 out of 10 on that. Looks good. What did they see wrong? The centering off just a little and there must be just a little soft corner somewhere. But I don't know, look, a 7. How did this get a 7 from PSA? It looks almost perfect. So the centering is off just a smidgen. So Okay. But for a thick card, these thick cards are bound to always get dinged up. Okay. 
next. Okay, now this, uh, the, t the 2017 uh, Topps 1987 rookie autograph, Herman Marquez. So th this was a card that got what I thought it would because I did know it had two soft corners and it, it did have a, well, I noticed kind of two soft corners. One of the corners I think may have gotten a little dinged when I cracked the slab on it. But this got an but this got an eight from PSA, which is what I thought it should have got. So just because of the one corner, and I think uh, Yeah, I think it's that. Well, we'll look at it here. What did they give me? Eight five. Pretty consistent with what PSA gave. PSA gave me an eight and eight five. I'll take it. A ten on the auto. They don't upcharge you for the auto uh, grade on that either. But yeah, that corner right there has a little bit of a softness. You know, it's a little soft. And I think that, yep, that corner, that corner got a little dinged when I cracked the slab. But they gave me an 8.5. Eight I think that that's an acceptable grade and that's around where PSA gave me. And, you know, uh, centering the cor eight on the corners. Yeah. Edges are perfect. Yeah, surface is good. So, yeah, the corners killed me on that one, but I wanted to get the card slabbed anyway. So, man, you, I can't beat that. So far, Arena Club is three for three on where I thought things should be. Okay. And the final card here, the 2016 Elite X... Uh, Elite Extra, I believe, rookie autograph. Here, another Herman Marquez. On this, this got a six from PSA. And I was looking, and the only thing I could see is right there that there's just a little bit of a soft corner on that. And they gave me a nine five. What? No way. I guess that corner's not as bad as I thought it was. Okay. All right. I thought that that corner looked a lot. That corner looked a lot worse. I thought, but I guess it's not. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Okay. So yeah, PSA gave me a six. Nine five all around corners. So that little that just that tiny little ding there in that corner, which it, it's not bad. And I th you may not be able to even notice. I don't know if the camera can show you, but if you look at it, you can kind of see the corner there has is uh, is uh, got a little bit a little bit of a wear on it. But and I didn't think that was worth a six. I, if they would have given me an eight on this, I would have said oh, that perfect. But they gave me a six. But everything on here nine five all around. I can't complain with that. That's way better than I expected. So there you go. These are the four cards I sent in. I only did a small little test to see how they would go. So there you go. Uh, man, Arena Club crushed it, man. I, I, I'm super stoked by these grades. Especially, well, these three for sure. Because, you know, being undergraded on these three I thought was a killer. And I, I, I honestly thought that this would have gemmed up as a 10, and it did. I honestly thought this was, because of how thick the card was, a 9 would have been acceptable, but 10. And, and re in reality, I'm glad, because I'm, these thick cards, man, these corners tend to be soft or get dinged or the, the uh, edges kind of get roughed up on these thicker cards. I'm glad, man. I'm glad that everything was, like, dope on this card. So, awesome for Arena Club, man. They they totally crushed that. So, I, I'm definitely going to be sending some stuff over to Arena Club to get uh, graded now. I may crack a couple of slabs uh, as well to uh, send some more stuff that... Uh, some more of my undergraded cards that I got. Uh, send that over to them as well to get that... Uh, graded properly. So I highly like Arena Club, man. These guys are awesome. Um, if you scan this QR code in the back, it'll take you to the. Uh, it'll take you, and you can look at what the uh, what the AI found was all the issues, 
uh, what problems that they found, where changes needed, you know, uh, like surface issues or corners, ding, scratches, all that, uh, they will, it will show you uh, on their computer what they found, which is kind of cool. So I may go check out, I may go check that out and look um, so I can see what they found. Uh, that may have needed to be uh, corrected. Uh, these are all in sleeves in here. So they're put into sleeves and then slabbed. I like it. These are nice sleeves. You have different colors on there. Uh, so anything less than a 10, you get this black. You get the black uh, sleeve. You get the black top. Uh, 10s are here. And I've, I believe gem mint. If it's like perfect, perfect, you got 10s all around, um, it's a different color. So we'll have to see if we pull any 10s in future videos. But this was awesome. Um, yeah, man. So thanks, everybody, for checking this out. Go check out Arena Club. I highly recommend them, man. Awesome. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, 505 underscore memorabilia. Links to everything me down below. We're on the road to 200 subscribers. We're almost there. Go make me spend money on you. And uh, we will see you next time around. Thanks, everybody. Peace.